Hi guys, it's Lila Holmes Apotheca Health and Beauty Hacks and today we're going to discuss this funky mother of pearl facial scraper from Beautiful on Raw. It's kind of like those gua sha scrapers, you know, facial and muscle scrapers made out of jade. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this cool tool from Beautiful and Raw, she's the one that makes those, the dry skin brushes. That's one of my more popular videos. And you can get that kind of like brush, the little natural bristle brush for your facial exfoliator. This is a tool she's got that's a little bit more gentle. One side's a little, it's not gonna cut you, like you can't, but it's sharper. It's got like a more of an edge. This side's more round and, you know, massage -y. So I'm just got a eye makeup on. I don't have any other makeup on. We're gonna scrape our face with this funky tool. It's meant to massage and exfoliate the lymph, you know, and the metabolic waste to get that out of the way. So we're gonna do the same sort of neck first and then work our way up the face, you know, in the same way, drawing from the center out and down. But get first you want to unclog the pipes right from the beginning just like you would unravel a string you want to kind of you know work your way does that make sense is that a good analogy i'm not sure so you start with the neck and the decolletage right you, and then you go up right so you're unclogged you, you get it i think you get it you also want to do it with some nice essences i'm going to put my of course my uh lucid essence brightening mist on mm. oh you could use an oil, you could use olive oil, really. You could use any oil you like. I, I'm, I'm gonna put on some of this facial oil I made with squalane and tetrahedrexyl desyl acerbate, the oil soluble vitamin C and stuff. Mm. And you just, you know, pat the schmutz on. I got some eye makeup on, I wanna do it in that side of the Oh, yes! This little facial oil I made with phyto essence elderberry squalane and tetrahydrexyl desyl acerbate and you just get everywhere now you can let the oil of your choice you know you could be as simple as virgin olive oil careful about using uh coconut oil on your face because some people break out with it mm -hmm. so i'm gonna let this oil sip so it really gets in the pores what I really like about the scraper, and maybe with the gua sha, which I haven't gotten that yet, I haven't, I haven't tested it, I'm gonna get one. The jade rollers roll on your face, it's pretty and you can roll it around, but I don't get the point of that at all. It seems just like worth not very much, because I wanna feel the results. So this is nice because, okay, so I'm really feeling the oil kinda of goop in, you know. Mm -hmm. This is cool because it's the scrapey side really gets the blackheads and really exfoliates. You don't want to scrape really hard. This is actually supposed to be more gentle than the dry skin brushing, so it's not as intense. You can be as gentle as you need to be for your skin, really. And if you really need a lot, very gentle, you can just let your oil of choice sit on your face for a while or your decollete, your skin anywhere, and then gently rinse it with water. Like just let it let it really sit on there though. Oh yeah, and it'll kind of deglue the sebum and just your dead skin cells. It'll kind of hydrate it, you know, and make it gooey, so it'll be easily scrape off. Or you could damp cloth it off. That's long enough for me. Okay, guys. So the scrapey tool. So I really liked using it around my nose. Oh. And the tool. Mm -hmm. Mm. And it's gonna make it pinkish. Like when I do this at first, like around, or you know, around your nose with the, I have some like clogged pore-ish type things. Right around there, you can kind of, it, it, it scraped them off, which is very satisfying. It's very satisfying. All right, so let's start from, you're supposed to begin at the décolleté, right? We have all these lymph around here and you can like just scrape it into a towel, the goop. Feels really good. And I could see how this would help release the fascia. Um, oh yeah, pink, pink. Because your skin wrinkles and the like, they get the patterns of muscle move in a specific way. And then that makes the crease. So you want to release the fascia, the connective tissue, which form the, you know, the repetitive movement. So this helps release that gua sha. 
It's really cool. And Gua Sha complements acupuncture and the cupping, you know, where you're really pulling. You want the blood to come up to the surface. It's gonna be, you want it to be pink. Sometimes even when you're Gua sha the muscle, it'll get kind of like a big hickey. And that's an indication that, uh, you, oh good, I've released something that really needed to be released. This also reminds me of how they would cleanse themselves, which is on Beautiful and Raw, Tanya's site, where you can get the dry skin brushes. She's noting that the Romans, the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, this is how they would cleanse themselves. They would oil themselves up and scrape it off. But it reminds me of the Middle Ages when they would, you know, not want to get into water because of fear of getting a cold or the flu. So they would, the way they would cleanse themselves is oil themselves up and scrape off the dirt. That's kind of a good method. I'm into it. Ah, oh, it's pretty also, mother of pearl. Very satisfying for like, you know, bumpy areas. So basically you're going center out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, look at how pink I'm getting. So I'm going to be delicate around the eye, but I do have like some dark blotches around here. And right here, I tend to, you know, I want to be gentler, it's sensitive to that area. I'm not going to scrape my up here so much, but then along the nose, up the nose and out. Oh yeah. Forehead, you guys. So on Tanya's site, she's saying you don't have to, you can go any which way, but I really like this draining down the face, which is also like the gua sha. Wait, up, up, and then down. Down, don't forget your ears, darlings. It feels great. It does, you can feel the circulation, of course. And it'll be pink for, you know, supposed to go away in 60 seconds. I don't feel like mine is gonna go away that quickly, but if you don't like the scrapey side, which is my favorite side because you really feel the exfoliation of the skin, right? Especially after, you don't have to do it as hard as I'm doing. Like you could go really like, but it feels, you really feel t the tingle and the circulation, you know, happening. You could go the, the rounder side, which is just not as scrapey. That side, but this is, this is like the jade roller to me, like pointless. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, yes. Put it right up along the nose. Get that. Especially because I wear glasses often, like, Right around here, where the skin is imprinted with the glasses. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very invigorating is what it is. Kind of like doing a cold and hot plunge, you know, in the spa. She's supposed to really bring the blood flowing to the capillaries. That's what it feels like. Ex experiencing the circulation, which is gonna help your skin. And one thing is you might start purging a bit. Your body might be like, oh yes, good, circulating some, getting some toxins out. So that's that's a warning that Tanya on her beautiful and raw warns. And yeah, I like it. It's a very pretty tool. Very similar to the gua sha. The gua sha though, I like that it has a, like a little prong and you can like go along the jaw a little bit. This one is, it's just shaped differently. Mm. And it's mother of pearl. It's just a little different. So whatever you want, you could, I'm sure use like a tongue scraper <laughs> or a little sharp edge of a piece of plastic. It's not as fun, it's not as pretty, but I think you could. You know, people are doing the shaving your face. People are shaving, uh, women, women who don't normally shave their face, or shaving their face, you know, it's just that scraping that gets the dead skin cells out and also the circulation. So it makes sense, doesn't it? So that's this tool, it's called a Striegel, Striegel, S-T-R-I-G-I-L, Striegel. Ancient Roman and Greek tool. I think that they used the dull blade in the medieval ages in Europe. So I could see that being pretty good. Just smearing yourself with the oil and using a scraper tool. 
anyway, so this feels pretty good. It's a great way to get the massage, it's kind of a, a catch-all tool. You want to stagger your exfoliating methods. You know, if you're using a lactic acid product, you want to don't want to do this right after. You know, if you're using some sort of other scrapey thing, as your skin acclimates, maybe you can use it more often. But listen to your skin. You know, if you're doing, if you got a Retin A, a bunch of Retin A. I saw someone in the comments skin was messed up from Retin-A. You know, like you stagger the use of your stuff. Maybe Retin-A would be helpful again for your skin, but you'd have to use the tiny bit and let your skin acclimate. Everything's about listening to your skin, basically. So this tool is pretty neat. I kind of like the feel of it even, oh, I forgot up under here. I like the feeling of it. It's very similar to the, the dry skin brushing, but apparently, I guess it depends on how hard you're pressing, but apparently it's more gentle than the dry skin brushing. If your skin's really sensitive, maybe just do the oil part, you know? Just oil, let it hydrate, and damp cloth, warm. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to introduce this Strigel, or Stride, Strigel, <laughs> this Mother of Pearl facial scraper to you at Beautiful on Raw. Of course, there's gonna be links below in the descriptions. And if you have any other suggestions of things you would like a video on, please do tell in the comments. And I hope you have a fabulous day, darlings. Exfoliating in various ways and having a wonderful time. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay, guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, you know. To all right funky tool made of mother of pearl called a steagle a striegel a striegel <laughs> something in my eyeball Ooh. Oh, just ate. Uh, oh dear. So rude. <laughs> right? What else? Are we still going?